Hi there. What's up? How you doing? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Welcome back to the Mrs. Podcast. <laughs> this is the show that's rated five stars by Jewish pole dancer. He says, yum, yum. This podcast is like getting high with cats always entertaining. Have we done the five star thing from the beginning? Mm-hmm. Like from the very first show? Yeah. 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 It was my idea. It fitted the IQ to get more five star reviews. That was genius. <laughs> it was pretty good. It worked like a goddamn smart. charm. Uh, yeah, thanks for that, Yum Yum. Have you ever got high with your cats before? No. Really? No. That's I've gotten surprising. high and I've been with my cats, but I haven't oh, given. Like, I don't my mean cats. get your cats high. I mean, like, be around your cats while you're high. Absolutely. Yeah, I've been completely fucking tilted. So, what's that next like? Next to my cat, dude. <laughs> when my cat Teddy was still alive, it was really chill. He would just chill out with me. He'd fucking lie down with me. Fucking pet him. Kind of just shit. looked at you disappointed. It's, it's really good. Because <laughs> usually when you're with a cat, Anyways, and you're not allergic, you can just pet them, and it you know it, it relieves your stress. It's a stress relief mm. uh, being around cats if yeah. you like them, because you pet them and they purr and it's cool and shit. So when you're when you're high as fuck and your cat's up against you purring and needing you, it's yeah. super nice, really very relaxing. Yeah. So you ever like feel like you connected with your cat on a spiritual level while you're high? Probably not to that extent. You know, like talk to your cat. Oh, I talk to my cats all the time. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, I call them retards and, and F words and, and all sorts of shit. <gasps> Why? Yeah. You can't say that to Dude, a cat. Dude, because it's, it's great. I like going up to my cat <laughs> mochi and being like, hey, you little fucking retard. Who's a stupid, silly fucking retard? And then, like, and then the cat's just like chilling and happy because they don't understand the nature of human, you know, human I'm calling Peter. interaction. So. Who the hell's Peter? He's this guy who kills cats. Yeah. Fuck. Can we get him on the podcast? <laughs> sure. like an interesting career path. Sure. This is Swagger Souls, by the way, guys. Hi. Uh, this is Jay, a.k.a. McCreamy. A.k.a. Slim Shady. Uh, it's not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got Mason on the show as well. Boys. He's fucking back. Toby's here. Hello. I'm here. My name's Fitz. Who's not here? Matt. He's still, he's still he's not here. He's fucking still, still on the fucking, fucking run. Don't know what where the he is. Fuck? Maybe, you know, maybe next week. It's about or time. The week after. I think it's about time we give the fans at home an explanation. Uh, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Moving on. What's happened this week, boys? Dude, uh, I wanted to talk about the creatures. For, okay. For a bit. Does anybody remember watching the creatures? Kutra I don't know who they, they are. I never I'll watched them. So that don't is, know who they are. That is a youth thing. That, that is Kutra. That is Uber Hanks or Nova, Sly Fox Hound. There was Gassy Mexican. I, no, not ringing news. any I, remember, I know Gassy Mexican. Uber Hanks and Nova, right? I feel like. I don't believe Sean Anders was part of it. No, but Sean Anders played with Gassy yeah, Mexican. Yeah, I'm sure. Does Uber yeah. Hanks and Nova stream? Yeah, he streams. Okay. Now. Yeah. I've seen but, that yeah. before. But you know, real, it. real OG group, you know, almost like a rooster teeth. You know, really early back in the day, like fucking 2010, 2013, 2014. Yeah. And, you know, I've been a fan of them for, for a while. I'm pretty sure I've talked about it before. Yep. Um, there's this one guy that was a part of the Creatures, uh, SSOHPKC. That's a mouthful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Seamus. Uh, he was the first YouTuber I ever subscribed to. Really? Uh, on, on the platform, yeah. How uh, old were you? I was, oh, dude, this was in... How do you remember in, the first? That's crazy. That it, was, that. it was in 2009. Wow. It was in 2009, I think. I... Just got an Xbox. I just got Fallout Three, and I had, uh, and, and I was trying to get into it. So I was watching videos of like the DLC and shit to see if I wanted to get it. There's this one DLC called Mothership Zeta, which is like an alien DLC, which I thought was fucking sick. Mm-hmm. And so I Googled it. You know, went on YouTube to watch it, and I was just gonna watch a walkthrough. You know, because at the time in 2009, I was only watching commentary less just you know straight up gameplay, no um, commentary. Yeah, and. Watching SSOH PKC's video got me into let's plays and commentary and like having a personality play the game. Okay. Mm-hmm. So he was the, that was the first person I ever subbed to. I watched his video since, and uh, you know he he's been on and off of YouTube over the last couple of years, and you know no one's heard anything from him for like the last three years, and he, you know he hasn't uploaded or anything without an explanation, and so I tweeted the other day. You know, because I had a dream that he uploaded, and then when I woke up, you had a lot of dreams about, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> about yeah, strange I, things like I have like premonitions. Yeah. It's odd. Mm. I had the dream that he uploaded, then I woke up sad, so I made a tweet about it just Aww. to see if anybody else <laughs> like remembered remember him or if, if they were fans or if they're waiting for the video or whatever. Mm-hmm. And the guy responded to my tweet. Did you tag him in it or no? Uh, I didn't. So wow. he responded to the tweet. Apparently, he's going to be getting back into, you know, he's considering getting back into streaming and, you know, doing uh, doing YouTube again. So mm-hmm. I'm excited. I hope he does it. I'd love to. I'd love to watch his content again. Did you follow him, or does he follow you? Uh, no. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, Whoa. but you know, he's all good. You know, it's, so no head. It's, it was really, it was really cool to see the the first person, the first like ins- inspiration yeah. that I had that cool. uh, respond to me. It's just funny because I start talking about Q World again. Q World releases. He's manifesting. I talk. Stuff. I Holy talk about shit. SSOH PKC. Maybe mm-hmm. he comes back. Talk about Matt coming back. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about me uploading a video, <laughs> <laughs> please. You sure? Uh, no, but yeah. I mean, what, what do you? How do you feel about the creatures now, looking back? Looking back, dude. I mean, a lot of the content in 2009 to like 2013. I mean, you're a kid, you you know, watching that. I was a kid at the, t- at the time watching that, and I found that as a kid, it was way easier for me to sit down and watch like. Uh, a 15 minute unedited gameplay video yep. where the microphone yeah. is on a sh- like a shitty Xbox headset mm. you know it's filmed on a capture card for the on console and I would sit there happily with a smile on my face and watch it for hours mm. and I feel like you know it's just that just isn't the case anymore on YouTube because back then that was just the norm yeah you know yeah. now yeah. now you have to put a lot of production value into your videos in order for them to really like have some kind of reach. Well, everything's and, more ADHD these days. Yeah, you know, you, know, you mean, need to keep your audience's retention. Well, yeah. PewDiePie uploaded a twelve-hour video. Well, it was, that was a that's vod. That's a, that's a vod, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it, it was a live a stream. Bit, it was a little bit cut up though. Oh, uh, uh, I, I no, think it was just a straight twelve yeah, hours. Yeah, but yeah. like that video still got fucking millions of views. Yeah. but that's PewDiePie. Yeah, yeah. An exception. You, you know, obviously not everybody fucking watched the entire yeah, exactly. twelve hours straight. But no. when I was a kid, I'd watch. I'd watch a fucking hour long uh, cut of a of, of a Minecraft gameplay. Yeah, you know, mm. just just because I I liked the personality and you know them speaking was entertaining to me. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. So you know, as, as far you know as far as that goes, you know, I mean the creatures, they were like the first real like group. That that I saw and that like I was a fan of you know because I like pretty much everybody in the creatures uh-huh. and so you know I'd, I'd watch all of them and you know watch their hub they had like a group channel like we do uh-huh. and you know they yeah. they were in a house and then they were in an office and then you know they ended up splitting they all they all ended up leaving which makes me think <laughs> oh, we had a oh, house shit he talked about and it. now we have an office <laughs> I mean how similar would you say uh, that we are to them I mean similar in the regard that we're all content creators and we're kind of following the same steps that they took. But I think mm-hmm. we're, you know, I, th- I think this time around, I, I mean, you know, we could learn from their mistakes yeah. and I don't think we're really going to be, you know, replicating those. Yeah. Well, I think what's good about us as a group is that, uh, even when we hit tough times, which you could say there've been a few of this year, you know, yeah. for all of us individually, sure. you know, just, just, you know, life happens. Uh, we kind of let ourselves take time to figure mm-hmm. things out yeah and we don't turn that stuff into content it's, yeah it's weird because like you know and i think that sucks for the fans a little bit because yeah. they'll be like yo why you know tell us about what's going on like why why you know how, why, where the fuck's matt like what's happening yeah. here yeah, like yeah. why is this happening but like i mean i just don't feel like any of us are comfortable with taking drama or negative stuff that's going Absolutely. on and then being like Make it a podcast yeah. about it, or hey guys, or like yeah. tell it to the a world. Video. Like, it's like, why? Why wouldn't we? That's just not like a normal thing to do. I don't no, think. No, I think yeah. people need to process like the shit that's happening in their personal life and keep it in their personal life. Yeah, you know, my I'd never go on Twitter and talk about the shit that is bothering me. Mm, you know, yeah. my my Twitter needs to be a place that I just put my shit posts and my jokes and my memes. Yeah, and just have it always be positive. Because I don't want to, I don't want to take a negative aspect of my day or my week or my month or my year, mm-hmm. and then share it to everybody. Yeah, uh, to to you know essentially fish for likes and support, which yeah. in the end is as good as a sentiment of oh it'll be okay, we still love you. It it, it mm. wouldn't do anything for me. Well, that's you know, not it, necessarily why people do it though. I know. No, I know. Although I do think that a lot of YouTubers do take their personal life and uh, they do put it out there for. Um, reassurance from strangers. Mm-hmm. Holy shit! Fucking Matt's out there getting chased right Jeez now. God. Maybe he's back. <laughs> <laughs> he's like burst through fucking the door. Cops, out <laughs> cops behind him. Uh, what was I saying? Um, I mean, obviously, some YouTubers exploit the negative parts of their life for mm-hmm. views. Uh, sometimes they are. There's a lot of narcissists on YouTube, I think, and they just want to share it no matter what yeah. it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and I think so there's also so a lot of YouTube like share it. Some YouTubers share negative things just in terms of a, an update. To the, yeah. the fans are like, here's why I'm not yeah. uploading. Yeah, sure. Here's and an explanation. Is, yeah. Obviously, yeah. And there's yeah. also the like yeah. argument that uh, you know, showing that someone that's in a 
you know, because YouTube is kind of glorified as this incredible uh, dream job for so many people. Mm. And there's, you know, I feel like there can be something about showing that, yeah, you know, you can be in this crazy, awesome position and still struggle True. Yeah. and like show that, yeah, everyone struggles and it's okay to struggle. Yeah. No, there's obviously there's a genuine element to, to this as well. But yeah, obviously but, there are still nefarious mm, things as well. It's interesting though. I mean, I've, there's been things that I've personally struggled with over the last year uh, that I was like considering making a video about. And then I was like, actually, I think that it would probably be smart for me to properly like knock this out of the park yeah. in terms of like solving this issue like in my work, life. working through it on your own so that I can make a video about it and reflect on it and actually like be like hey well I'm good now like, yeah and just know, like and leave it at that rather than kind of kind of putting the it. journey out there mm -hmm. yeah. because I, I think that I did that mostly because um uh it could potentially make it worse if I put it yeah. out there while I'm still dealing with the issue you yeah. know what I mean um but yeah, it's interesting. It would be more valuable to reflect on an issue and then solve it and then talk about the whole experience of yeah. here was my problem. Here were the steps I took to solve it, mm. you know, and if you're going through something like that, that was what I did. And then, yeah. you know, it, it'd be a, it'd be a more wholesome video than. Well, it's like you're providing the closure from the yeah. back, you know, yeah. which I think is kind of what I want to do. Hopefully I'll do that someday. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, so going back to, uh, I just want to bring up, you said people don't watch, uh, like, you know, that, the long form unedited content anymore. Mm. And that is true on YouTube, but that's, I feel like that's largely because people just do it on Twitch. Exactly. Where it's a far better viewing experience because you have of, other people with you. A lot of the people from the creatures, you know, they'll upload, I guess, live stream highlights kind of stuff on their channels now for their Let's Plays. Because a lot of those channels I used to subscribe to as a kid were Let's Plays. And since Twitch has come along, we're... You're practically live streaming a Let's Play, yeah, unedited, you know, and you're doing it live with your audience and you're experiencing it all together. Yeah, you know, it's also more lucrative with donations because after the adpocalypse and the algorithm changed, you know, you try to post a Let's Play on YouTube, your channel goes like that. Yeah, it goes way down. So you know, a lot of them have made the move to Twitch, mm. and I think that's smart. You know, well, Twitch is just the superior, the superior platform for yeah for that Let's that kind that, that style that's of content. Yeah, yeah. But for us, which is more refined moments and edits and that kind of stuff, of course, you know th mm. that 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 would be better suited for YouTube. Twitch is crazy, man. Twitch is so raw compared to YouTube. Yeah, uh, I yeah. think that it's a lot easier to like talk about stuff that you probably wouldn't share otherwise on, a, on, on Twitch yeah. because yeah. someone in chat would just like ask you a question. Next yeah. thing you know, you're talking about it and say, like, "Oh, I didn't actually plan on saying that today, but fucking, I'm yeah. live." And then I just said it. You know what I mean? So mm. it's yeah, very a lot interesting. of times I've streamed. I've only streamed a few times, but most of the time it'll be me sharing. Like at the end of the stream, will be like sharing something that I wouldn't normally share, like mm. anywhere else. Yeah, there's nothing quite like the uh, experience of you know getting towards the end of yeah. a stream. You're tired. You don't want to play any games. You just sit down with your chat, and you just end up having a long discussion yeah, exactly. about some really interesting stuff mm. and. Being mm. so raw. Mm. Speaking of streams, how did yours go, uh, Mason? How was yours yesterday? Uh, <coughs> <laughs> what was the stream? <laughs> Mason's exhausted, by the way, guys. He's uh, very had, hungover right now. I had a big night, boys. Do you want yeah. to talk about what you did or do you want to keep it? No, nah, I don't care. All right. Um, I tried MDMA. Ooh. And what? I don't know exactly what that is, by the way. If someone could, like, quickly. Swagger, you're the drug guy. Just, just real quick, like... Um, <laughs> <laughs> like this real fast. No, I, I've never had an interest in taking MDMA, so I haven't bothered to study it. No, but, I've, I've never taken it either. Yeah, I'm all, pretty, all I know is that it it fucking boosts your serotonin, I believe, and it and, like yeah. releases all of the serotonin yeah. you have right. and uh, it, at my, once. It's either serotonin or it's dopamine. I'm one not quite those. sure. I'm uh, not quite sure which one it is. Basically, but, you just get super happy. Yeah, you're super oh. happy and super you're super loving and all you know cushy and mushy and all that shit. And you and you have extreme self confidence and you know you you love everybody, you love yourself, you're you're completely completely fine and all that shit. And then there's and then the for crash. the next week, you have none of that chemical in your body, uh, so you're sad. Yeah. Suicide yeah. Sunday. That's why they call it Suicide Sunday. All right, yep. so how was so, your experience? <laughs> uh, it was all right. I mean, fucking felt like a million bucks for a bit. And okay had a good night with the boys and stuff and i don't know it just kind of makes you feel like s very switched on right mm. and um you said like, the music felt really good right yeah the music felt extremely good but um yeah no nah, that's about that's about it <laughs> <laughs> do would you say that it was wise that you did it huh would you say that it's wise that you did it was yeah um <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't call it wise. Yeah, he didn't, neither <laughs> would I, honestly. He, he didn't <laughs> test it. 
Yeah, neither yeah. would I. To be, I, I mean, just for the viewers at home, I really wouldn't recommend it. No, um, I wouldn't recommend either. MDMA either. No, no. Just, just the come down. The come down alone is just not worth your fucking time. Yeah, unless you got heaps of time. <laughs> <laughs> Which thankfully you do because you're a fucking YouTuber. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there there is a genuine reason why they call it Suicide Sunday. Like you are fucked. Uh, some people get super fucked up after it. I've it's been really offered. It, I've been offered it many times since I've been here. It's very big in Melbourne. Uh, That's in huge in Aussie culture. Popping it, pills in everyone, general is this huge in Australia. It's fucking pingers, bro. You go to a mm. fucking club, yes. have a couple pingers, and <laughs> spaz out on the dance floor <laughs> and, and gnaw, gnaw the air. What am I saying it wrong? No, no, no it's, it's pingers. 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 Interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, I've been offered to fuck that at time. We went to Revs, went to Revolver. Uh, is that a gay bar? No, it's just a. Uh, <laughs> of course, you'd want to know. No, I. You can always I Google remember, it. You I can always Google Ryan, it near gay bars. Ryan told me about uh, revs before, and for some reason, I remembered him saying it was a gay bar. But. No, it was probably a meme. There were plenty of women there. Uh, stop! Stop insulting his. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Shut <laughs> up. He's like, you really need to clarify that it was the yeah, gay, it was bar a right gay bar right now. There was a gay bar. There were plenty of women there. Okay, <laughs> there, was, there were women. A woman, a woman there offered me MDMA, and then I and I said, uh, well, she goes, hey, you want a pinga? I go, what's a pinga? She goes, you know, like caps. And I go, what's a cap? He goes, you know, like MDMA. I was like, oh, wait, no, you, you no, didn't know what pingas or caps were. Uh, not really. Interesting. I mean, they don't I mean, call them cool. pingers or caps in the yeah, yeah, For some reason, just, I just they just like say they known. just say MD or Molly. Mm. Uh, but now I was like, nah, nah, I'm okay. And then some guy immediately after goes, "Hey, you want some cat?" I was like, "What? Cat?" I was like, "What do you mean?" He goes, "Ketamine." And I was like, he, "I was like, where's the weed? Where's the fucking <laughs> why would, weed? Why would you go to a club and smoke weed? Because weed is awesome and there's no downside whatsoever. No, if you go in clubbing, you take pills. <laughs> no, guys, do not take pills, please." <laughs> If you, cl I think clubs are lame. I think clubs and big yeah, it's parties you're are a fucking <laughs> lame. All I want to do is just chill out with the homies, listen to a, a bit of music, play some video games, and smoke have an some orgy, weed. and then smoke some weed. Yeah, yeah, and all I want to do is snort some coke and go and rave for six hours. <laughs> this really is a roller coaster of a podcast. Oh, <laughs> speaking of speaking of drugs and stuff, have you seen the video by Steve-O that's been recommended lately? That, yes. I, was, I wanted I, to talk about that. I've seen it. It's, it's very so interesting. interesting. It's, yeah. um, Where his, he talked about all the drugs he's done? Yeah, yeah and he shows yeah, video he shows footage video. of him on them. It's fucking in, like, incredible. Archival right. footage, yeah. It's very interesting. Information. Like, he shows the, the tapes that they went through. Yeah. Boxes on boxes on boxes of just like <laughs> fucked footage. Because they just archive. filmed everything. Yeah, it's it's insane. He did some really wild Stuff. Oh yeah. my god, he I showed, didn't think it was that bad. I think it was videos of him on alcohol. Yeah, he said he tried alcohol. Yeah. He tried <laughs> that's the worst he tried, one. He tried ketamine, I believe. He talked about his acid experience. He talked yeah. about shrooms. Mm -hmm. He said he hated shrooms. Um and then he talked about nitrous oxide, which was, which was his big one. one. He also well one. he said ketamine was the worst, but nitrous oxide was the, was the worst that just was, before. Yeah. But he also did so much coke that he, he has a hole between his nostrils. Yeah, yeah so he could try yeah. to shoelace. He said Between he used them. to take Ugh. coke on planes with him by uh, putting it in money. Yeah, he would like have a stack of cash and have a little thing of coke in it. Because the TSA agents would never touch his cash. Thank God we still have Steve-O, you know. Yeah, yeah, funny crazy, crazy. Dude. funny story about Steve-O. I don't know if you remember it, Mason. We went, we, when we were in LA, yeah. we went to his comedy show. We, like, he drove us there to his own comedy show with yeah. him and Banks. And I distinctly recall him talking to us about nitrous oxide. Really? And he just straight up like looks at us both and just like never do that shit. Right. Yeah. And yeah, I was like, for anyone who doesn't know, Steve O's completely sober now. Yeah, yeah. completely has been for like five sober. years Fucking or something. Legend. He looks very Crazy. healthy. He looks great. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Man. But it, uh, that's an insane moment. Like, yeah. Well, what was the deal with that? I mean, is there more to it than that? Well, he was, you know, he was having a lot of nitrous and he was yeah, like hitting canisters and canisters and canisters, huffing and huffing. And he would just, he would huff so much, he'd go, he'd just go completely bonkers. I mean, hallucinations. He said he hallucinated his own uh, intervention. He said he, he hallucinated <laughs> a bunch of people sat down in the room and started talking to him about how he shouldn't be doing it. Wow. And then he came to and realized that literally nobody was there. Yeah. And so he had a comedy show, and one of the jokes was, you know, you know you have a problem when you're hallucinating your own intervention. Yeah, that's fair. He I said know. he got, because uh, the Jackass guys gave him a proper intervention, after he was on like a, it was like a week long ketamine bender or something. <laughs> yeah. What does what is, what is ket, what does that do to a person? I've, I've it, heard it, it has like benefits. Insane. It makes you fucking yeah. just. Aren't they using it for therapy these days? They do. My sister. 
had ketamine therapy. Really? Yeah, she had intravenous. Maybe wow. I'm thinking of something therapy. else then. Yeah, she had a hundred milligram lozenge a day for like three days. Wow. Oh, dude, she was fucking off her face. Ketamine's horse really? tranquilizer, in a, isn't in a it? good way. Yeah, I um, so. yeah what, what is it? Doesn't it, um, isn't it very, like, isn't it a disassociative? It's a it's complete disassociative. Right. Yeah, I mean, it, the way, her experiences, as she described them to me, uh, were very much like a psychedelic trip. But she was on a lot. She was getting it. You know, I deed into her for like several hours in a Fucking doctor's hell. office. This was uh, for migraine treatments, for treatment um, for pain. Oh, it only lasts like 40 minutes, though, right? The trip? Uh, no yeah. I think about, I've been something, well. something, something like, like really that. Small. I don't know. Again, I don't know that much about ketamine, mm. but I know that it's uh, it could be used to treat chronic pain, chronic illness. Uh, it could be used to treat uh, isn't, depression and anxiety, isn't, PTSD. Isn't it the one that was, you know how there was all those videos that went around of people that were walking around looking like zombies and they looked like crazy? Bath salts. Mm. Wasn't that oh, ketamine? Yeah, that, that or was, was that bath salts? That was bath salts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Constantly like being zombies and shit. Mm. Yeah. They looked insane. Yeah. No, it's fucked up. Drugs are fucked. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Some like just, I didn't even know, know what half of them were called. I didn't even know they existed. Yeah. And the thing, with, the thing with like, uh, you know, man-made drugs like synthetic drugs. You never fucking know what you're taking unless you test yeah, it. You need yeah. to make sure that you no test. one tests it. Yeah. If, I s- if anybody in the audience is ever going to do any drugs, make sure that you're testing it with a reagent kit. Yeah. yeah. So if sure. you ever smoke weed, uh, pour some reagent all over it to <laughs> yeah. make sure that it's real. Yeah, you want to wash <laughs> nice it. And soggy. You, you want to wash <laughs> it in the sink with soap and water. Yeah. Yeah. To wash I out s- all the ba- all the bad yeah. omens. In the uh, in the video with Steve, I think the funniest part was when he's like, um, right at the end, he's like. I've done all these drugs, but the ones I won't do are like meth and stuff like that because they're just fucked. I'm like, it was like meth and heroin. Yeah, no, no, meth. no, he did a lot of meth. He said, he said meth. Um, he was like, I would never, never, ever buy meth, but I would also never turn it down. Yeah. That's and right, then, that's but right. then he said heroin. He just would never yeah. take. Yeah. Well, fuck, he, he would never inject anything. Yeah, that's, oh, that's true. right. But yeah. it's, it's crazy how he's like yeah. done all of those drugs. Yeah, he there's said, still some that you like stay away from. Like he said, the ketamine comes crazy. in like little vials, and that he would throw it in the microwave, and it would turn into powder, and then he would snort it. Yeah, yeah. he was yeah. snorting yeah. crazy, crazy which was which was pretty. Fucked It'd be up. interesting to get on the podcast. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That oh, would be, be wild. Fucking crazy. Yeah, I mean, that man has unlimited stories. Oh, oh yeah, oh, absolutely. Remember that time he was on top of the crane, like riding an inflatable whale or something? Fuck Sea World. Yeah, he's lived a very very crazy life, hasn't he? Yeah. What was your like impression of him when you met him? Like, how long did you actually spend with him? He seems well, like I'd he would be a probably, sweet, like a, just a really like nice a guy. A few hours, a couple hours, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like so, just completely genuine, like normal guy. Drove a normal car, like just someone normal that you'd meet on the street. So, because like, I think um, I'm not sure was I there when that happened with you guys. You guys, you were saying it uh, with uh, Cloudhouse, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, I remember Banks saying like, "Yo, Steve was here." Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were supposed to come, but you were just like completely fucked uh, on edibles. So <laughs> <laughs> you were, you really were out for like up. four days. <laughs> yeah. No, I was recovering from that crazy yeah, yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. Man, well, that was crazy. With, with, when Ryan threw up in the nacho bowl. Yeah. Yeah, the nacho. Yeah. The nacho That's like one of the early oh, podcast stories. Yeah. Fuck the nacho bowl. <laughs> I saw that the day after and just like, oh, it looked like an abomination. Dude, Dude LA just is fucking. Some crazy shit always happens when I go to LA, and we're about to go in two days. I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm also it's nervous. Good Just luck. Us three. Seriously. Yeah, yeah it's good luck. It's me, Toby, and Fitz going to TwitchCon, mm. which is going to be fun. I think we're going to be doing a meet and greet. Yeah, but uh, on the by Sunday. The, by the time Sunday. that this comes out, that'll be over. Like, we'll oh be, yeah, it's true. Yeah, it'll yeah, be it after is the true. weekend. Um, anyway, though, so yeah, so what? Steve O just, just like shows up. He rocks up. Rocks up. We're like, we're expecting this. I, I was expecting to freak out. Like, oh my god, it's fucking Steve O. Yeah. He just like introduces himself. Hi, I'm Steve O. Handshake. This is mm. completely normal. Like. It, it, I can't say anything more. It was just a normal dude. Yeah, right. You yeah, wouldn't was, have expected that he's what, done all that crazy shit. How was like, the show? Absolutely, like fucking f- phenomenal. It was fucking hilarious. It was uh, like the, probably the first. I, I think it actually was the first comedy show I've ever been to. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and, really? Like, of course, it was one of the fucking good one of those yeah. ones. Like, that was so good, sick. It was a good one to start with. Yeah, exactly. I don't think anything will top it. Yeah. Like, Mad respect to those fucking jackass guys. Mm-hmm. Like, they have my. Full unadulterated respect. Yeah, yeah, like even if you don't like, uh, don't enjoy what they yeah. were making, you still got to respect it. It was, yeah, man. it was crazy. I watched the fuck out of Jackass when yeah. I was way too young to watch Jackass. Yep, same. It really kind of, it was actually what made me fall in love with the internet. I think and YouTube because I would mm. one of the, the first things I was consuming was clips of Jackass or Bam Margera, like yeah, doing dumb stuff or. Um, and shit. Me and my friends were trying to like replicate it, yep. like at school. Hey, jump off this flight of stairs! <laughs> Literally, yeah. like you just like dumb fucking challenges ankles. and stuff. You know what's so funny about the Bad Majera stuff is like he was just a pro skater. 
who then yeah. made a show where he just fucked with his parents. Mm. Mm. Like, <laughs> did he also make a show where he like got married or whatever? It was like Bam Maybe. Crazy. I have no he had idea. a lot of shows. He, uh, he, he did a lot for MTV. That's back when MTV was respectable, uh, respectable, <laughs> and not a piece of dog yeah. shit. Well, well, TV is kind of dead now, I guess. Yeah. If we were to <clears throat> make a TV show, it's hypothetical. If we were to make a TV show on any network, what network would you want to have a show on? YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Or Netflix. But, yeah. You think a Netflix special? Netflix would be like, fucking. Why the fuck would we do TV? What if it was like Hulu? <clears throat> I, I don't really know. I don't know what Hulu is. is. What about Amazon? Well, Amazon, Amazon, Amazon Prime? Amazon Video. Prime? That's on mine as well. <laughs> <Prime>. <laughs> I feel like Amazon Video would have a lot of rules. Uh, I don't know. I think Netflix is... I don't, know, I don't fucking know. I mean, you're, what we're, it would be a decision based on like the contract, you know, which is like, <laughs> we true. don't know what the fuck it's going to look like. <laughs> this is hypothetical as well. Yeah. Netflix and us all. Yeah, if there's any big TV executives watching... <sighs> yeah, they love just, us, dude. Yeah, just send us, <laughs> send us an email. They love us. Mm. No, but I mean... Uh, I recently watched um, the uh, Shia LaBeouf Hot Ones interview. I don't know if you guys saw that. No, I haven't. Mm-hmm. Shia LaBeouf is another one of those characters who I, like has clearly been through the ringer in his career. Like he's gone some places mentally and stuff, much mm. in the same way that Steve-O has, although probably, I imagine at least, with less drugs involved. Yeah. And has kind of come out as this weirdly like zenned out, introspective yeah. person where you can just tell that he has kind of found like inner peace yeah I hope it's so. really great to see that in people like steve-o and shia labeouf yeah, after that he will not divide us debacle oh, I, mean, I, I hope he's in a better mental state you can just oh my god dude the trolls really gave him a oh yeah gave him a run oh yeah i mean who knows how he really felt about the situation during that whole thing but like it's cool to see him now and be like oh this guy's really gained some perspective on himself and he's fucking yeah. clearly got a very unique wisdom to share yeah i loved mm-hmm. him and even stevens dude I was a guy. fan of that shit when I was like six, seven, hmm. I was really do young. You, do you guys think it takes a breaking point to realize that sort of thing? Because most of the time when you hear about these people that have found their peace and stuff, it was usually before. Mm-hmm. But that's because like the a, only people that you hear about it from are uh, the people that people have. have yeah. yeah. Cause like so people that just find peace, yeah. you know, it's not that interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I've always, yeah, yeah. always wondered about that. It's like, just, I think it's just a sign of like fundamental maturity. Yeah. Like, um, and some people get there and some people don't. Mm. Some people like are kids forever. Yeah. Like, I mentally. mean, some people never leave high school mentally. The same mm. thing that you, same thing that you see in Shia LaBeouf is probably the same thing that you kind of see in someone like Russell Brand. You know, sure, people, people that go through those struggles and hit a, hit a pretty damn, mm. you know, hard low. Yeah. You know, they just levitate back up and then find an identity and find some kind of peace and some yeah. routine, and then they 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 just live. Yeah, well, what I I think I, what I respect about people like that is you can just tell that they have personally stripped away their ego and they are now just a person, mm-hmm. and they're kind of they're still in this elevated position and they're on camera and they're doing interviews and whatever, but you can tell that mentally at least they're not like inflated about it. And yeah. they're just kind of raw, and they're like, just I don't know, like when they're in, when they're in interviews, it's like they're just talking, yeah. and the cameras are just there. Very honest. It's yeah. very like I don't know. It's cool to see. It's genuine. That is cool. It's to genuine. See. Yeah. Ho- hopefully, I'll be there someday. I'm fucking egotistical yeah. shit. <laughs> 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 yeah. <sighs> Crazy man. Yeah. Absolutely. Not too bad. What else has been going on? <laughs> Cube World closed beta comes we, out. We, we dude. Can't keep talking yes, about Cube World. Dude, we cannot I keep can, talking about I it can every week. because it is coming out. Closed beta. I got access to the beta. I emailed Wole and he responded, motherfuckers. He said, Yeah, what's up, bruh? Yeah, dude, dap me up. I went, Oh yeah, fuck yeah, Wole. I dapped him up. And he goes, Yo, you like this game? I'm like, Hell yeah, I like this game. I've been waiting for it for fucking like seven years now. And he goes, Closed beta key, bruh. It's all you are. It's nice to thank you. So thank you're you. playing that tomorrow, hopefully. I am playing it tomorrow at 5 you. p.m. And you may be joining me, I hope. You have to figure that shit out. We'll see. See how we go. Yeah. Exciting. And yeah, another exciting thing. Mm. I, got Damn. Ex- I, I got wish I had a key. I really Same. hope it's good. I got accepted to a house. Oh, true. Yeah, I got uh, I got accepted into my own little house. Uh, Misfits house all is right, over. Well, Crab okay. rave. Okay. <laughs> if you're going to talk about that, <laughs> we need to address why, it'll, why that's happening. Sure. Because we haven't at all addressed it. Uh, yeah, that's fair enough. Basically, Misfits House is on a one-year lease, mm. and uh, we have the office now, so it doesn't really make sense for us to all to live together. And no. we also can't renew our lease. They yep. won't let us. Yep. So, yeah, we were going to move out. We were, like, too good at tenants. Yeah, we were We were really <laughs> reliable, really awesome tenants. So we just, we just decided, ah, oh, fucking. Yeah. Look, when you're dealing with a group house, it's just like, <laughs> it just seems like it's more stress than it's worth. Well, yeah, Absolutely. I mean, you're mixing a living environment with a working environment with people whose personalities may clash. Mm. And that was obviously a risk from the from the get-go. Called it. 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Told it. But, Literally told but, you so. No one's personalities clash. What are you talking about? Well, I'm just saying. Yeah, there's a, yeah. I'm saying there's was, a po- there's a no, possibility. No, I'm talking about Fitz. I'm oh. talking about Fitz saying called yeah. it. No, I'm saying I called yeah. that the house was fundamental. Oh, you know, it's it's hard because the house definitely created some cool shit. Yeah, the I house think, had risk. Yeah. That there was risk involved living together, and that and we all recognize that. Yeah. And whenever there was an issue in the in, you know in the living situation with pet peeves or whatever, we yeah. would always sit down when we had the podcast set there. And we'd sort it after a yeah. podcast, and sure. every, and it was all you know, it was all healthy, it was all good. No one ever hated each other or any sure. of that shit. The issues were more with things like just the house being like shit or power. Yeah, or, well, yeah, you know, that was our, our, our internet. Whatever. The gas was off for a month. <laughs> you know, yeah. it, there was a there were there were a lot of al- you know obstacles. There were a lot of challenges that went into it, and yeah. you know, at the end of the day, it was a huge learning experience for everybody. It was. It was a massive experience. It's just from this point going forward, we have an office space that we'll all commute to. We'll all have our own individual houses to yeah. have. Mm-hmm privacy and time away and you know yeah. in, in, an area to properly uh, make our content and you know live our lives yeah you know, within our means like people what one thing people don't understand about like a youtuber group house is how different it is to just living with your friends normally because yeah. like normally you know you you move out of home uh, and you might be lucky enough to flat with your friends mm. it's like that's great but during the day all of you are separated at your own different jobs. Yeah. Whereas for us, it was like during the day, all of us Everyone. are together uh-huh. doing our same jobs. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like there was no separation at all between work and like standard living, life, living our lives. which was fine. It hasn't really been that much of an issue. But I mean, we're like ready to take the next step. I'm so keen to live alone. I'm so keen to yeah. experience that. I fucking you know? love living alone, dude. Also, um, oh, fuck. I forgot what I was going to say. Don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, but but that's but that's the plan. The plan at the very least, you know, leases up in a couple of months. I I move in early early October, get my keys, I move in, I start buying up my you know IKEA furniture and furnish my house and fucking get to get to backwards. making content. And the I'm plan. gonna have NBN, bro. I'm gonna have fucking good internet. I'm gonna have hot water. I'm gonna you know it's all gonna be sorted out. Nice. And I'm very I remember. Excited. I remember when we first moved into the house, we all said the ideal, well, just before we moved into the house, I guess, we were like, the ideal situation would be for all of us to live in the same city and just yeah. have an office. Yes. And that's exactly that's what's about what to happen. happen. Yep. Just by the nature of the beginning of <laughs> everything. <laughs> Nothing. Just from the beginning of everything, the idea is, you know, the justification for the house is everybody's there, everyone's in the same place, it'll be easier to coordinate, easier to yeah. communicate, you know, make some content, start it up, mm. and then once, yeah. you, once that lease is over, you know, we'll have an office by then or a warehouse office space or whatever, and then move into it. Move and into it's it not after gonna, the lease is over. It's not going to change the content at all, which is something it'll probably make it I want to stress. Like, because yeah, I've had this a lot on stream, people being like, oh my God, does this mean Misfits is over and stuff? No. But think all. about the videos. How often do we actually film at home? Mm, I mean, exactly. we had a, we had a good amount. It's just recently. But they're usually like little intros before we do something else. Yeah, yeah. there was one video, uh, what really happens at Misfits House. Was that the one with the bouncy castle? Or was yeah. that yeah, the one yeah, where... Yeah. Yeah, that's no, that was a it, dedicated video. Our it, best content has always been our trips, exactly, or yeah. our like just random idea that we do where we you know go out and we do some crazy. Yeah, shit. pre-planned yeah. stuff is pretty fucking like, I don't know. Mm. I, I like more spontaneous stuff. Spontaneousness has always been a theme for us. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So um, yeah, we may be moving out, but it's not going to change anything. No, it's we, not going to change a lot at all. I think we realized doing things like the TikTok video or anything where it was like sitting down on a couch and like trying to be YouTubers properly, mm. that we're just not those types of people where we're like able to sit down and turn on this personality where it's like, what's up guys? Yeah. This is the video idea. You know, like we're just like, I don't think we vibe that way. I think we're better and, and when we're just we thrown could. in a situation. And, it, and, and then it's left up to our improv. Yeah. And we're just being filmed, like yeah. being ourselves. Mm-hmm. And even yeah. if we did like a, like a video where we did sit down and it did act like, you know, that, you know, overexcited, switched on personality thing i mean people that's not what people yeah, want people from see, us people will see yeah. right through that shit yeah 100 yeah. percent. yeah it's whack but anyway that's exciting i've i've applied for one place uh and uh yeah, i did some stuff that i shouldn't have done coke oh, <laughs> so much coke oh. you flipped no, the real estate I, agent. <laughs> I lied on the rental application and then um it, oh shit what did you it was, i was gonna get accepted well he, here's the reason that? there's a reason why <laughs> i lied on it yeah. right um so coke <laughs> so we i don't like, do coke basically <laughs> it's like a box yes no yeah. toby's sweating like oh my god <laughs> uh but it was like um i said that i was employed by ryan oh. because mm. i couldn't say self-employed because i don't have an australian business number yet yeah oh, right. so i was just like oh, i'll say i'm employed and i'll say i'm employed by ryan yeah. 
and then uh, then they're like, hey, that this is all great. Uh, she's they're, they're going to accept you. We just need some pay slips. And I was like, oh, pay slips. Okay. I have those because I'm employed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, and then and the agent was like, yeah, you know, I, I know it's um, annoying. Uh, I told her to, to just accept you um, because you seem like a great tenant. And then um, and uh, but she's like, she's been screwed over in the past by someone lying about how much money they make. Hmm. So uh, uh, she, we, she doesn't want that to happen. I was like, yeah, that makes total sense. And then never replied to any of the emails again. <laughs> Next Dude, just send them. Up. The, all they want is like a statement of like the fact that you make money. Just yeah. send them like a bank statement. Yeah, mm. take a screenshot of your bank account. Send it. Yeah. Uh, there's other reasons that I don't want to talk about on the podcast. Coke. <laughs> Coke. <laughs> what is with you in Coke, cocaine, dude? Coke addiction. When did just, that even start, dude? When did the cocaine addiction start? Yeah. Uh, I think I was... Basically, when I was 13, 13. and I had, I had just moved to Auckland... And I uh, had just met this uh, new group of friends at um, the middle school that I went to. Uh-huh. And we were hanging out. I kind of just, I wanted to fit in. I hadn't done any drugs. I hadn't even drank alcohol at this point. When you're 13? And well, yeah. But my friend. Beta. Yeah, I was a beta bitch. <laughs> but uh, I remember one day my friend was like, hey, my uh, my big sister is going to, um, uh, she's going to hang out. She's going to buy us some alcohol and she's going to buy us some Coke and some weed. Uh-huh. Do you want to come? And I was like, uh, shit, I should probably go. You should bring you know, something. This is a new group of friends. <laughs> I need to be part of this. So, uh, you know, I gave them some money. I hung out. And then uh, that was when I first tried Coke. Wow. It was in uh, on a half pipe at the local park. Oh, Whoa, that's cliche. sick. Whoa. Yeah, cliche. I know, classic Coke it's situation. Cute, but cute. Uh, yeah, it was cute. We lit some candles. Yeah. Um, it did some Coke. On a half pipe. Oh, uh, yeah. You like candles. Well, it was, we wanted to make it a nice experience. Fair enough. I it mean, was dark. It was about yeah. 10 p.m. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Looked up at quite the, the stars. Quite the memory. indeed. That is quite the memory. Yeah. So what was your experience like oh, being 13? Oh, it was great. Basically, I just... Um, did, did you ever, as a kid, uh, like run up a half pipe, mm-hmm. and, but not actually on a oh, skateboard, yeah, yeah, just yeah. running and just pretend run to yeah. do tricks and stuff? Basically did that for like... 15 hours straight. 15 <laughs> hours straight. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Holy the shit. Hey, to be he, honest, he was 14 by the time he was done. It was probably a little too much coke to do for the age, but, you know, I don't regret it at all. And you just kind of kept up? Kept up the habit? Yeah, I mean, it's not too frequent. Uh, maybe once or twice a... Uh, Day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you see, I'm a streamer. I, I stream a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah sometimes you, know, you got to do it. Sometimes I'll do 15 hour streams. How do you expect me to do that without coke? Did you get banned on Twitch for snorting flour and saying it's coke? Mm, yes, yes, probably. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's why you just don't do it on <laughs> camera. Snort flour. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be. I think it'd be a good. What if I like walked out onto a webcam with like white dust on my balaclava where my nose is? I think you could probably get away with as that. As long as you don't acknowledge that it's coke. When we go, hey guys, this isn't coke. The way I hide it is, <laughs> see how I have these long nails? I just scoop a little bit of coke uh, under the nail, coke nail. And then it's like, oh, I got to pick my nose. You know? Uh, no one knows. No, no one's the wiser. Not obvious at all. Yeah. <laughs> no one's the wiser. Yeah. No, one, no one can tell that I'm yeah, always I, on coke. I just put my coke in a cigarette and smoke the ah, oh, can, yeah? you, can you smoke coke? Yeah, you can smoke coke. I put it in a sandwich. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I put it in my turkey sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's great. So I mean, I Mix think... it with my gamer subs for an extra kick. Yeah, code misfits, <laughs> code guys. Misfits. Gamer subs. Gamer also, subs. shout out to our thousand dollar patron employee Woo! of the month, uh, Gamer Holic. Gamer Holic. He's this filled the legend. spot. This guy. Uh, if you're wondering what the fuck this picture is, <laughs> it's my boy Gamer Holic and his dog. Uh, yeah, he supported the Patreon big time. Employee of the month uh, this month. So turn up your cheers. Let's oh, cheers. Let's cheers. I got cheers none left. That. Fucking cheers. Yeah, to fucking fucking let's get, go. Get gamer subs get there. there. Yeah. <clears throat> So, Toby, how would you say your life would be different if you didn't pick up a cocaine habit at the age of 13? Well, that's where it's funny, dude. Because if I didn't start doing coke, then I wouldn't have got grounded by my parents. Mm. And then I wouldn't have had to switch schools and uh, never would have met you. You would have met me. Exactly. You wouldn't be famous. Yeah. wouldn't be famous. You'd just be a cocaine junkie. Yeah. And now, the pipes to your... But the, the great part about being famous is that you're not a cocaine junkie. And the mm. cocaine just becomes better and better. Yeah, because... <laughs> Famous people have no problems. So therefore, <laughs> that's so okay. true. Yeah, I've never heard of a famous person with a cocaine problem before. No, never. 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 Well, no. Always, see, always has been. Exactly. Yeah, famous people Washed only up. have cocaine problems when they go to rehab. So as long as I never go to rehab, I never have a cocaine Look, problem. It's only Very a cocaine true. problem if you when, you're no longer, it. when you're no longer famous. Yeah. Then it, it becomes a problem. It's only a cocaine problem once you've stopped doing cocaine. Yeah, then it's like, oh, I miss it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's the problem. Yeah. It's just like I, have a, I have a cocaine problem. What is it? 
I lost my cocaine. <sighs> the worst problem to have. So, guys, that was all a bit. Um, I don't know, do cocaine. He doesn't do cocaine. Actually, do that. He's never actually done cocaine ever. I, well, you don't know that. I, I, I hope so. <laughs> But he did run up a half pipe for 15 hours. So yeah. That's a different yeah, story. Yeah, no, that happened. That was ketamine, not cocaine. <laughs> I, can't, I can't, dude. Like, my rule is no pills, no powders. And I think people should kind of stick by that as a rule of thumb. Well, I accidentally mm. took, I accidentally smoked ecstasy. Have I told that story on the podcast? No. 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 I haven't heard right? no one's heard that. accidentally <laughs> smoked ecstasy. Well, I didn't know it was ecstasy until the day after. Ecstasy is MDMA, right? <laughs> yeah. Mm. I think so. It's you pretty much the same thing. Smoked MDMA. Well, we bought, you can we, smoke that. We bought we bought weed <laughs> off this guy. And you smoke it. And oh, it we lace? smoked the weed. And we were in the we were in a spa. And we were just like loving it. A jacuzzi, if you're American, I guess. Are they, what tub? Would an American know what a spa was? Yes. Okay. We're not retarded. We well, no, landed I mean, on the fucking moon for just, Christ's sake. Here we go with the we landed words. on the moon. They you did, did not they, land on the moon. But we were just me and my mate were just in the spa for like you know. I don't know, eight hours or six hours or something. <laughs> Why is just this like, so pleasant? Just floating, <laughs> and it was amazing, and I felt so good. And then in the you, morning, you, we were like... You walked down to the spa, a complete prune. In the morning, we were like, this this doesn't... <laughs> that didn't feel like weed. That what? felt like something else. And oh, we text, well, why do we, I feel like killing myself? We texted the drug dealer, and we were just like, what was that? And he goes, oh, um, it was weed and uh, synthetic weed. The like legal high shit. Oh, that's and uh, and ecstasy. Mm -mm, no, mm -mm, that mm -mm. shit's really bad, isn't it? K2, like, that yeah, terrible. Kill you. K two yeah. is fucked, and so got is banned spice. in New Zealand. Yeah, it did. Oh, I heard about is it. Is it banned in America? That K2? yeah, dude, used to. I uh, used to be able to buy it on a on the on this, on this boardwalk. I, I used to go to. It was like an hour and a half away. It's like the Jersey Shore boardwalk. Oh yeah, yeah. I love that show. It's so crazy to think they used to be like. You know, you just be able to go to go to a smoke shop could, and buy fucking K two. Yeah, you could literally. Oh, buy, you know, I knew wow. I knew kids in fucking high school that were uh, that were smoking K two. Those those kids were fucked. <laughs> but yeah, that They're was really the time fucked. I had laced weed. Mm. Yeah, not even weed. See, <laughs> laced K two. See, I talk about how I, I don't like do drugs or anything, but back before I met all these guys, well, no, <laughs> I knew Fitz, but back e. before I was a YouTuber, <laughs> damn, I was. I smoked a lot of weed. How come you didn't invite me around to smoke weed? Because <laughs> it was always at uni. I, when, uh, when I was at uni yeah. was when I was smoking the most weed. I I, smoke, it's funny because I didn't smoke any weed in high school. Mm. Neither did I. I oh, no, actually, that's not true. I smoked very sparingly up until college and then became a daily stoner. I remember one time I greened out when I was like 16 and I just lay in a puddle of water on the street for like <laughs> hours because I, was, I felt super sick and the, the coldness of the water made me feel really nice. Mm. This reminds me of a cop driving by and <laughs> some fucking <laughs> retard okay? on the side of the road. Some 16-year-old kid just in a puddle of water. I hope my parents don't listen to this episode. They, uh, yeah, they will. What's up, Toby's mom and dad? Hey, I'm, Shout so, out. I'm, don't sorry. Worry. I'm sorry for flipping you off, Mr. Lyons. <laughs> They're probably like halfway through the cocaine part. Like, what the fuck? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> My poor innocent Toby. Candles? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck does coke with candles? What a pussy. <laughs> yeah, I, genuinely, when I smoked weed when I was younger, it was like, uh, you know, I, my friends smoked weed and smoked cigarettes. And I would just, oh, the only time I would ever smoke was when I was with them. And it was like, mm. you know, it was. I guess I just, it wasn't like to fit in or anything. It was like social, you know, it was just like, <laughs> right. I was there, they were all smoking it. So I was like, okay, I'll smoke weed with it. And I never really liked it enough to be like, yeah, I'll smoke weed by myself. Yeah. I always kept Apart it. from when I did it to go to sleep. I kept it to a social thing. And then as soon as I got my own pipe, uh, this was after PAX East. This was after Boston. Uh -huh. This was when we were in uh, New York and Ryan bought that Pokemon, uh, Pokeball pipe. And then he was like, oh, I can't bring this back with me. Here, you have it. And I was like, okay. And then I took it back home and I had my own pipe. And I was like, oh, I could buy my own weed. And oh, I could smoke in my room. Huh. Did you smoke on your own? Because you were getting high for like recordings and stuff, right? Before um, that? CSGO, get a little wacky sometimes. Oh, that was in college. Yeah. Yeah, well, of course, in college. Mm -hmm. we, had a, we had a bong and we'd walk out to the crack shack, smoke, and I'd fucking walk back. Crack shack. Crazy yeah. times. It was, it was pretty good. 2017. You know, it wasn't, uh, wasn't too bad. Was the only say? time I ever bought my own weed was for the like two months or so that I would smoke it before bed every night because mm. it helped me get to sleep. I used to smoke it in a vap vaporizer and then put head noise canceling headphones on and close my eyes and get closed eye visuals. So it was like watching a music yeah, video yeah, yeah. in my oh, mind. Yeah. And I used to do that and just like, it was so cool. And then it would put me to sleep. Mm. Mm. 
Jay doesn't fuck with weed at all, right? No, after that fucking experience in, in LA, 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 put me I off forever. Mm. Those were edibles, though. Was, yeah, it, no, I it know. must have. You know, have you smoked it? Vaped it. You vaped it. What was that? Oh, like? wait, was no, it, I've had it. I've had a joint. Yeah, like, and but I just I don't know. I just always get. Shut anxiety. up, pussy. Even my mum smoked weed with swagger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's totally fair. I think you it's know, like, just like, no, yeah, it's I'm totally just fair. in that point in life where just fucking, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't like, touch I'm it either anymore. I'm not in the right space to I be think, doing it because I've mm. tried. Uh, I think done. if someone gave you a little bit of sativa, like a... Like, maybe a little bit. Swagger's, <laughs> that, that, swagger's like one frame. I, just want, I want you to take one hit of a joint and then just see how it affects you. And, yeah. you know, it wouldn't be enough to make you I've feel I've been told like, this so many times. Yeah. Yeah. Although you did do that one time. And, um, yeah, and you had fun. And you had a great time. Yeah, I, I, I have times where I have a great time. Yeah. And then I have lots of times I mean, where I have a I've terrible had, time. I've had like times where it has been really good, but then mm. ju- it just out the bad outweighs the good for me. Yeah. Fair. It's because you remember fair. the bad yeah. times over yeah. the good times. Yeah. Drinking. Ooh. Yeah, drink. <laughs> Jay <laughs> loves a little bit of drink. Love a bit of the alcohol. I remember, <laughs> remember the soju. Yeah. Remember the soju. <laughs> I don't want to remember that. I can't. I, I despise the smell of peaches because of the. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god! So much soju. I remember the first like the first time we hung out with Jay. There was there was no drinking, no doing anything, and then there was that one night. Uh, where we were I think we are at Nobu mm. And you just got like Real drunk yeah. <laughs> It was like your first time Properly drinking That was cause yeah. um, we, had a, we had a friend over Yeah who who This friend <laughs> Who's extremely rich <laughs> He has a, he has an ability To get anyone wasted And even, I was like No matter how much They hate drinking mm. yeah. I literally, He's a party animal, dude. I legit like turned into Ainsley. Like I turned, <laughs> yeah, I embodied we were, him. We we wanted to get him so drunk that he'd be uh, that he'd be okay with doing oh, the yeah. Ainsley voice, right? Because our he, friend really wanted to hear yeah, the Ainsley yeah. voice, and we were like, "You got to get him and fucked I was up to up do like, that." Not at me, because. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. A couple of shots of tequila later, and he's over here going, A couple? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I got fucking smashed. It's because alcohol, unlike weed, like, breaks you out of your comfort zone. Yeah, I yeah. did have terrible fucking... Like, I thought I was going to die the last time we got fucked, though. When you bought... What with booze? Yeah, um, the fucking when where where were we? The G-G- Hungry Jacks incident. Oh, <laughs> G-G-G-G, I really yeah, imagine. I couldn't sleep. I was I had the worst night oh, ever I after that. But my problem with through. alcohol and weed and stuff is I hate the feeling of lack of control, even if it's t- like the tiniest amount of lack of control. Like I can drink one glass of whiskey and get super anxious just yeah. for one glass. Wow. And I, I've yeah. I've I've like put it down to the fact that it must just be that my my mind hates feeling like i might lose control i find yeah i find that weed is therapeutic for me because it makes me feel like i'm not in control and mm-hmm. then i just don't care about being in control and i and i just kind of go with the motion like that's why i find it so much better for me to edit uh when i'm stressed out about editing because when i'm stressed out about editing and getting a video up on time and having to do the subtitles and cutting it up and all of that and i have like yeah. 24 hours you know, I I'm you. I'm freaking out to the point where I can't even start. I get and, I get that exact and thing. <laughs> I'm and I'm like I I can't believe I have to do this. I really don't want to do this. Yeah. I'm, I'm bugging out. Like what where do I even start? You know, I go downstairs. I rip maybe half of a bong. I I, I walk back upstairs. I sit down. I drink some gamer sups, and then I I'm just oh. Oh. Okay, let's <laughs> let's fucking start. And then I really? sit down and I start and I do it. And, and, I, and, I, the and I practically do the <laughs> entire thing the in a session. I've had some great streams high. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, 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 <laughs> like, so you didn't get anxious high on camera streams? Yeah, see, I think... Because I want to do it really bad. What it is, it's because it. uh, you're distracted, Yeah, right? no, that's like, what I think it is. Mm. I think that when I am streaming, also, like, the for some reason, streaming is, like, my calming place. It's, like, my happy place. Whenever I used to have panic attacks, I would start streaming. Yeah. And it would make it would calm me down, but I think I'm so uh, distracted and like doing something yeah. that I don't I can't get in my head on the weed. Interesting. But like <laughs> I've had some. My chat uh, has loved it when I've gotten high on stream. I want to see a <laughs> you high get stream. I, I'm keen. I want to do it. The problem is that I stream in the mornings and like yeah, you can't really wake and bake. That's but the yeah. thing. Although like we are maybe streaming Q World tomorrow in the evening, so maybe that would be a. That'd be at five. Dude, it depends on whether or not. We get our feedback for that video. We got to release. Yeah, I hope keen, so. Though. I want to try it. That I love would be an interesting stream. I love coming home and seeing Swagger. It's like, oh, oh uh, last night I came home, <laughs> opened the door, and I just see from the doorway you can see directly to <laughs> the uh, little window that shows the table outside. I just open the door and I just look over and I just see Swagger bent over a bong. <laughs> and he yeah. looks over and he goes. 
Hey! <laughs> yeah. I, I can picture it. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm chilling there because it was my it was my uh, th- scheduled thirty minute uh, th- thirty minute editing break where I smoke weed and then go back up and then finish my editing. Mm. I do it every two or three hours. Good shit. I need to refuel, so I go down. I, I was playing on a music on a speaker. I was playing the cars. Um, old old eighties band. Uh, my dad really likes uh, Rick Ocasek, the uh, the I believe the lead lead singer uh, passed away. I think about day or two ago so i'm listening to the entire discography of the cars if you haven't listened to it give it a listen fucking Mm. classics so i was just chilling out there having a boogie you know (laughs) smoking uh, smoking a bit of smoking a bit of weed and toby just walks in and i'm like hey hey come over here and he was like oh okay and i was like like, how are you i was trying to talk to you and trying to have a convo with you and you were like yeah yeah and you're backing away i was trying to love talking you're trying you're (laughs) trying to disengage (laughs) You're trying to disengage, and I'm like, oh, and another thing. Here's here's another thing I did today, and you're like, yeah, 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 smiling, you know, very, very obviously not wanting to smile. And I was like, oh, and one more thing. You're like, oh, good night, and then you fucking went upstairs. And I, was, and, I, and, I, and I literally said to you as you leave, I, I was like, oh, what was that other thing? I forgot. And then you started walking away, and I go, oh, yeah, I'm lonely, and I really want to talk to somebody. And you're like, good night. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get that oh, bit. No. Yeah. See, when I come home at night, because I've got my setup at the office, when I come home, I'm already just I'm already basically asleep. Yeah. Like, the driving home ritual, it's like, I finish my stream, I get in my car, I drive home, and it's like my mind knows, all right, it's shutdown mode. It's, it's like, <laughs> good thing you're right there you're driving. Traffic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I feel like, Genuinely, I think it helps me sleep actually working at the office because it's like, as you know, I, I, it's like a little, a little like a ritual, a little stage. Well, there's there. no distraction when you get home. There's yeah. no computer in your room that's calling good. your name. Yeah, you know, when, and then yeah. yeah, just walk upstairs, get straight in bed, and I fall straight asleep. And yeah, so like when I get home, I'm just fully in shutdown mode. <laughs> yeah. Understandable, but yeah, I mean, we have what blue. We have your editor. Uh, and also the guy who edits the podcast, Shout Out Blue, uh, he's living with us currently. We get a spare room, so uh, you know he's been the guy that I I knock on his door. Does he smoke weed? Big yes. time. Yeah. He's probably smoking weed right fucking now. <laughs> yeah, sure. I, uh, you know, any time that I'm editing or finishing up on something, I'll knock on his door. I go, hey, Blue. He'll be like, what's going on? And I'll open the door. I'll be like, how are you? You're not jacking off, are you? He's like, no. Nope. And I'm like, what are you doing? Playing World of Warcraft. And I go, oh. You want to smoke some pot? And then he just looks at me and he goes, yeah, I could do. And then he just stand up, you know, a couple times a day, you know, when he's not doing anything important, yeah. not doing any work. He'd be like, yeah, you yeah. want to smoke? He does most of his work from the office. Yeah. So yeah. You know, he might, he, we've been talking about him taking, you know, some hard drives back to his, back back home so that he could work mm. as, you know, he's just chilling out. But you're a, you're yeah. a very like extroverted smoker. And extroverted It's general. very extroverted yeah. in general. I don't know, yeah. I loved a good chat. I used to be... Uh, a huge introvert. I used really? to never want to talk. Imagine this. I would yeah, never. I, thought I, that. <laughs> I never wanted to talk to anybody. I kept to myself in high school. What, what changed? Do you think? Uh, it was the after probably, he like threw that sandwich. Oh, the, the cheesesteak. Yeah, the cheesesteak. Yeah, yeah. It was after his uncle beat him up with a pillowcase <laughs> with orange. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, I went through like a lot of a uh, lot of experiences uh, through like two or three years. Uh, it probably started when I went to this program in like junior year of high school that got me out of my shell. And then as soon as I went to college, I was more sociable. You know, I was getting better at it. I was more confident in myself. I was doing YouTube. I was more confident in my, my ability to be funny and, mm-hmm. you know, have conversations that are funny and make people laugh. Mm-hmm. And then, I don't know, I just kind of, I came out of my shell a lot. You, you just learned to relish people's company. and Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, now, you know, it used to be like I hated people and I would have to be alone uh, or on my computer to 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 like enjoy myself and recharge, but now I feel like if I'm alone with my own thoughts for too long, I start to go insane. Really, and I start and my mind starts racing, and I get anxious over stupid shit, and I start overthinking stuff, and I need somebody yeah. to distract me. Mm. I need somebody to have a conversation with, someone to look at, someone to talk to. Crazy. And so yeah, I, I it's it's weird uh, how I've changed over the years. I mean, you know, the guy that I was in high school is dead. You know, there's, there's, he's not coming back. <laughs> Hopefully buried as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck that Floating guy. in a river somewhere. Yeah, Jesus. I was, with a uh, stick or something. Yeah. I was talking to my mom yesterday uh, about the fact that I'm moving out and that I'm getting a place. And she was like, uh, are you going to live with someone? And I was like, no, I'm just going to get my own place. And she goes, really? I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah. She's like, oh, I'm really worried about you. My mom did the same yeah. thing. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and I go, concerned. 
and she, she I was talking to her and I was explaining how like it doesn't like it it's not really going to change much and then she goes yeah I guess it's because I've never lived alone and I imagine that if I lived alone I'd be really sad mm. and then I thought about it after I'd stopped talking to her and I was like I think that like the difference is I spend so much time alone uh like all the time but I'm almost always on discord playing games with someone yeah so yeah. like still you getting know, your, yeah. your social interaction i may be alone but i'm always talking to people Yeah, you're anyway. alone but not lonely yeah mm. you know i'm also is... like I've, i'm i've always been very content by myself yeah anyway. you're a fucking yeah. hermit i've been living with you for like a, a fucking <laughs> month and a half and i never see you yeah <laughs> you, know, you know how i check if uh, toby's home i go up to his closed door and i hit the knob to see if it's unlocked and, yeah, and, if, it's, and my, if it's locked, he's home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my door is, yeah, my door is never unlocked. That's the only chance. I don't even knock. I don't go, Toby. I just go, and it, if it's clicked, then it's like, oh, he's home. Cool. That's why he always jacks off with the door unlocked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's literally instinct now. Like, it's, I don't even, you know, I just, when I close my door, my thumb is just naturally locking it. Mm. 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 That's funny. I, I feel like I'm very different to you in that sense, Swagger. I'm probably similar to you um, because I, like, I don't know. I like socializing. I find people so fucking interesting. I love nothing more than talking to people, like really talking to people, like having a good, genuine, deep chat. But I, uh, I really fucking love my own company as well. <laughs> I genuinely have a blast by myself that's all cool. the time. Yeah. Yeah. I and imagine. I get along like super well in my head with myself. And I think that's what I kind of found interesting about smoking weed and trying to like, you know, incorporating it a little bit more into my lifestyle this year is like, I do get anxious sometimes when I smoke alone, mm. but I'm, like I, I view it like a mini game in my head where I'm like, oh, I'm getting anxious. What's that? What's yeah, going on there? Yeah, and then yeah. I kind of start like poking at it. I'm like, well, what the fuck? Like, and then I kind of follow the thought back to the root of it. And then I kind of like try and work it out while I'm high. Normally listen to music as well. And yeah, then I kind of like somehow <laughs> find peace with whatever I was worrying I can about. Imagine Fitz and then I'm crazy. like, all of this. Fitz smokes a joint. He pulls up his his, <laughs> his one chair in his living room table, and then he sits down and he just does this. That's literally mm. me. No, <laughs> he, I, I smoke reflects. weed. I put on a full suit of armor and a sword, <laughs> and I just wait for the anxiety to come. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, bitch, bring it on. <laughs> I've, you know, I've tried it. It's a pain in the ass to get the chainmail on and off. <laughs> I, Getting a chainmail g- gambeson off is a pain in the ass. I'm speaking imagine. from straight experience. Just medieval I've, things. I popped a couple <laughs> chains off the chainmail, man. So have you always Sucked been like cock. that? Like, uh, I've always that? been. I've always been like deeply introverted. Okay. I'm uh, very excited to have my own space. What about you, Mason? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta end the show bro Mason's fucking coming down from his little thing last oh, night oh <laughs> mate I'm on fucking another planet right now <laughs> uh, are you are you introverted or extroverted Mason uh, do you like the company of people or do you like the company of yourself nah you? I'm, I'm a fucking caveman yeah, yeah. You're a little, 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 I, I don't you like, like other cavemen I like other cavemen yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do also you, you love some uh, like so t- social interaction as well oh right? yeah I love yeah. it I love it but like it's not all the time right I don't know. I like, I like, I like everything. Like mm, just yeah. socializing in general, but you need your own time, like all the time. You know what I mean? Hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I agree. That's very yeah. true. If you're never alone, then you're gonna get yourself crazy. But if you're never with people, then you're gonna be crazy. Kind yeah. of have find that balance. Human, yeah. Humans are social creatures. That's through billions yeah. of years of evolution. hundred oh, percent. Going through that ladder. Yeah. Well, you know, and that's why. Even though I would consider myself a very introverted person. I still acknowledge that it's super important that I leave the fucking house a couple of times a week or, or talk to people and important. stuff like that. Yeah. Even just, to, you know, <laughs> just stay connected with people who aren't you. Yeah. Because you can get, even if you get along well with yourself in your head, yeah. you can, it's an echo chamber at the end of the day. Yeah. yeah. And it is valuable you need, to, you need, yeah. you need outside perspective to challenge your own. Mm. Otherwise you're never going to, improve which is why i think like exactly. sound like therapy is fucking really good that's why podcasts are dope it's yeah. good that yeah. we have to do the um uh like we have to come into the office you know once or twice a week yeah i like because mm. i'm also super like out of sight out of mind mm. if i don't see someone enough i just like they're out of my mind then i mm. don't think of it to like talk to them yeah no true you are like that mm. bitch <laughs> <laughs> cool yeah, no. therapy is super useful all you gotta do is just Sit in a room and talk to somebody, and then they spit your thoughts back at you mm. in a way that makes more sense. They spit on you. Although yeah. the <laughs> best thing about therapy is the questions that they ask you lead you on a genuinely useful path. That yeah. You wouldn't, maybe you wouldn't think to ask yourself those questions. Exactly. And it gives you an entirely new perspective. Because a, you know, a lot of human thought uh, is a distortion of reality. A lot of people's you know, oh, yeah. view on what is usually isn't. 
You know, mm, there's, yeah. a, there's hundreds of different variables that go into a given situation. And unless you look at all of them, which you never will, you know, you'll never get a full picture of it. You know, reality isn't real. It's just everybody's interpretation is different. That's fucking true, man. That's powerful. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you for coming on the show, Swagger Souls. Uh, where can people find you? Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> 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 find, me, uh, find me at uh, youtube.com forward slash Swagger Souls Plays. I know I need to get that changed. I need to remove the plays, but it's still there. Are we ready to end it here, boys? It's I, been think, an hour. I think we're yeah. just about yeah. ready to end it. That was cool. That was a sick Fuck episode. That was, a really that was not too bad. Turn up mental health, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Gang, gang. Turn Thank up. you for listening to the show. Really appreciate you guys sticking with us. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, it's been dope. Yeah. It was. It was a really good episode. Cool. We'll see you All next right, hit time. Hit that clapper, motherfucker. Peace. Make Bye. sure it's on all cameras. Later, motherfuckers.